Oh my gosh, I'm so tired of cutting trees. Hang on, I got to change the The volume's too low on the game. Hang on. All right, so I have been cutting trees and I'm tired of it. <laughs> I haven't really gotten much done. So the downside with cutting trees is it takes forever. Uh, if you're looking to play the game and you're going to watch TV while you play, that's all cool and stuff. Uh, we've cut one set of trees down, and I think I'm going to leave you to the imagination, to your imagination, uh, as we cut down all these trees. There's more that need to be cleared up, but I'm going to leave this for now because we can also grow hay on our fields, and I'll show you how to do that um, after this round of crops. Um, in the meantime, though, I would like to get some horses set up. Let's go ahead and sell this uh, trailer full of um, logs. So we're going to find, the way we do that is we're going to go into the menu. And it'll take a second. And we get into our um, menu here. And where do we sell the logs are going to be? Oh, that's right. They're going to be at the lumber mill, no matter what you do. You're going to sell logs at the lumber mill. So we have to find that. Sawmill. There we go. So that's the one that's we go past the shop and we go over there. I'll, we'll go to the shop and then I'll show you how to get there from there. You've already seen me drive to the shop like eight times. So I'm just going to do that off camera. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. Let's go ahead and I'll get there and I'll see you guys in just a minute. Now, just for your sake, I am going to continue cutting trees. I just wanted to get the next episode rolling uh, because... <laughs> We are, uh, otherwise we're going to end up, you know, like I've realized it's been two or three weeks since I've released an episode and it's because I'm kind of dreading doing all those trees uh, and I don't have a lot of free time right now to just sit there and cut trees. So uh, I will get that done. I might do like a bonus stream or something. Uh, also, once again, if you like the content that you've seen on this channel, be sure to check out my Twitch channel. It's just VBLU guitar, V blue guitar. The link is in the description for this video. And uh, I'd love to see you out there sometime. We do all kinds of games on there. We do My Summer Car, Snow Runner. Uh, once Farm Sim 22 comes out, whoa, we're going to do a lot of Farm Sim 22. Uh, American Truck Sim, Euro Truck Sim. Uh, we play all kinds of games on there. A lot of times I'll play with my viewers. So if they want to join convoys and stuff like that, we'll do multiplayer. Uh, this is a great place. Come on out. I, I stream Monday through Thursday. I usually start between 8 and 9 p.m. And I end around 11 we're going to turn right here. Um, sometimes I, st I try to start a little earlier, but like the way life goes, by the time we have dinner and I've cuddled my wife for a little bit and, you know, she's ready to let me go, it's going to be about 9 o'clock. So that's the realistic side of things. Uh, so we are on the trail now to go. Now, you can also, just so you know, you can tie down lumber. Let me show you how to do that real quick. I, I, I didn't do it because I didn't really feel like I needed to because this is a nice high side trailer. But you can come in here and you can... Uh, Let's see. When you see the bands, yeah, maybe it doesn't work. This used to work. Some trailers do, some trailers don't. This one, obviously, I can't. Uh, so just be careful not to tip the trailer over because you will end up having to pick all the lumber back up. Um, and that is because we are not using a lumber-specific trailer. If I had one of those, you could actually tie the lumber down. But because I'm using just a regular old tipper or grain cart, um, it's there. They're not cooperating. So here's the sawmill here on the left. Authorized vehicles only. And we're going to pull in here. And I had a, a commenter uh, a couple days ago ask, why is the American farm so dirty and the European farms are so clean? That seems like it's a misrepresentation. And I know in America we like to think Where's the sell point that everything is clean? But honestly, if we're honest with ourselves, most farms, and I, you know, I live in the great state of Ohio. We have many, many corn farms, cow farms. I would say a vast majority of them are pretty messy. It's a muddy state. There's a lot of mud. There's a lot of mess. Now, maybe that's not true for all states, but for Ohio, that's definitely true. I haven't, now I haven't sold this sawmill before. This one looks like it doesn't have, a, it has like some kind of, where do we sell? Where do we sell now? Let's look at the map. Um, now it's in the middle. It's behind us. So this is not it. Looks like it would be cool if we could put them on here. Oh, there's the information. There it is back there. Okay. Uh, and I forgot to turn my help menu on. Sorry. There we go. So American farms and European farms are the opposite. They do tend to be really, really tidy, especially like Germany, where this game is made. Switzerland. 
uh, they keep their farms really tidy. So I think it actually is somewhat realistic. I know people complain about that, but... So we go over here to sell your lumber. Lumber. You go here and you click the left mouse button. You have to go to this symbol. You can see there on the left, up in the controls, it says sell wood. Press left joystick. And so there we go. $5,000 worth of lumber in one trailer. That's not a bad way to make money, but it is a lot of work. But you will... You're going to have, a, we have a lot of trees that we cut down, so we should have a lot of lumber. But I also believe it used to be in the game, the longer the log and straighter, the more money you would make. Don't know if that's true anymore. It probably is. Um, but anyway. All right, so I'm going to head back, and I will see you when I get there. All right, while we're passing the facility here, we're going to grab our sprayer, because very soon we're going to need to spray our crops. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that on the front of this tractor. Other things that we need to look at. Uh, mowers. Probably a baler. So let's see. We have $215,000. About $50,000, I think, is needed for the horse bin. We're going to need an animal trailer. Like, there's a bunch of stuff you need, unfortunately, when you get into animals. But let's start with the horses. Because horses, if you ride them every day, at the end of 10 days, they're worth about, I think, $50,000. So every 10 days you can make this $10,000 a day, basically, for riding for five minutes. You ride for five minutes, and I'll show you how to do the horses. Um, I do have a tutorial on my channel about it if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial, but we will um, grab some horses um, once I've made some hay. But we need to get a couple pieces of equipment first. So um, we're definitely going to need, um, well, maybe, maybe we'll keep it simple. There's two ways to do this, and that's one of the things that's fun but yet difficult about this game because there's a million ways to do stuff. We could either go with the bailing route or we could go with a collection route. And maybe that's the easier one. So I would say in game, if we're going to go the collection route, we'll grab this Nova Cat. And so I'm going to buy this. There we go. And we're going to grab a collection wagon, okay, instead of a bailer. So what the collection wagon or loading wagon is what they call it. There it is right there. And we'll just, what, what do we have that's the small one? Man, they got big ones. Oh, there we go. There's a small one. We have this Zelon CFS that's $46,000. If you have DLCs or mods, you can get much smaller ones than this. Uh, and we're going to go through that in this episode. Actually, we'll do that the next episode. We're going to go through uh, installing mods so you have some additional options because it's pretty limited. Uh, so there we go. There is the smallest one that we have. There are ones that are pot and gear makes them that are even smaller and cheaper. So... We can save some money there because that's expensive. But we'll come back and grab those in a minute. But we have what we need to feed the horses that stuff. We can use put both hay and straw in that unit. Um, so when we harvest our crops, we'll get straw. And so we can bed the, put bedding down for the horses. Um, and we will have healthy, happy horses. But we'll wait a little bit till we have more stuff grown because I don't want to get I don't want to start it and have no food. Though I think we did leave oats, so all we'll need is hay, and we can make that right away. Um, oh, we're also going to need a tether. That's right. I forgot that. Um, the tether will go on the front of the track or on the back of the tractor. We can mow and ted at the same time, and then we'll come back and collect. And what tedding does is it turns the grass that's wet into hay. Now, in real life, they mow. They let the grass sit out. If it's really wet, they'll ted it. Um, it basically whips the grass around and makes it... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It makes it dry, uh, but it, it gets the wet stuff up so that the, the wet parts are facing up, and then it dries. And so tedding basically just, like, whips the grass up so it dries faster. Um, in the game, the way it works is you just mow, and then you ted, and that will make it dry immediately. <laughs> it's not very realistic, but... Uh, now, uh, what's it called? Um, seasons, the mod, changes that. It makes it so that you have to do a little bit more work than that, and you actually have to, um, you'll have to, to uh, actually go back and um, ted maybe twice, or you let it dry for a day and you ted, and it, it goes by stages. So uh, you have like real wet, sort of wet, kind of wet, and then dry. <laughs> and, and so Seasons makes it a little different if you want to use that mod. It's a pretty cool mod. Um, Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Detach the trailer. And I'm going to go ahead over here, and we're going to lower that down and put it down. And 
and we'll have to put our care wheels back on this tractor because we're going to use that when we go onto the fields to spray, uh, we could end up damaging the fields. So um, let's go ahead and drop this off. So we're going to get a lot done today. Um, so I still got $150,000, and we're going to leave that for now. I want to look in my silo and see what I've got. Uh, did we save any oats? I think we did. Um, yeah, we already have 12,000 uh, liters of oats, which is great. Uh, we got more growing, but horses eat a lot. Two horses will finish that off. That's gonna They're going to use about 10,000 for seven days. So that's about a week's worth right there. Uh, but we need hay. So let's go ahead and make some hay. And once we have a trailer full of hay, I will go ahead and get some horses. So we'll do that all in this episode. So I'm going to run back to the uh, store, and I will return momentarily. We have returned to the shop, and I am going to purchase a tether. So um, these are the grass dryers. Just buy the cheapest one because we don't need a super wide one. We don't have a whole lot of grass to mow. We just need to make a couple passes and get some grass or some some hay for our horses so there is this i wish we could get them all at once but we're not going to so that's right we'll have to come back for the the zelon now if you want to get real fancy uh i believe we built a shop and we're going to go ahead and um put our communal tires on because the communal tires are designed for mowing the lawn so we'll use those, and they're like they're like grass or like turf tires. So whoops, <laughs> you didn't see that. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm returning to the farm. I'm gonna unfold the mower, and I'm gonna pick the tether, and I'm gonna unfold the tether by pressing left bumper A. And we're gonna roll up here to the top of the field, and where there's grass, and I'm just gonna line up here and. Oh, I forgot to put, well, whatever. I didn't put the communal tires on. You have to buy them, so I'm just, I'm not going to do it. It's all right. Tether's on and lowered. Mower's on and lowered. Let's go to town. And so what you'll see this do is it's going to make a big mess behind me, but it's turning the grass that I've mowed that's dark green into this light green hay. And I'm just going to mow this whole section. Now, if you want to get real fancy and make it nice and neat, I can come back with a windrower and make it into a nice pile for our collection wagon. That makes things a little bit easier, but to save money right now, we're not going to do that. I'm just going to mow it and pick it up with the collection wagon. We'll just have to do a lot of back and forth with the collection wagon. And uh, you can mow it just like you would any lawn. We're going to cut down this. You can see here why moving the tr removing the trees would be nice, though, because it would make it a little bit easier to access um, and not have to worry about going around the trees. But this is viable grass for our, our cows. Um, I mean, our horses, cows. We're not doing cows yet. We're a long way from cows. You need a lot of land and a lot of equipment to do cows. Cows are about, I would say, about a half a million dollars minimum to start because you need tractors big enough to run the baling equipment. You need collection wagon, baler, or, uh, you know, and once again, I would suggest watching my tutorial on how to feed and care for your cows for FS19 uh, because there's a lot to it. Um, it's not a simple, you, you know, there, you can, there, and there's several different ways to do it. Now, you could feed your cows just hay, like what we have here, and you'd still get a decent amount of milk. In fact, I do that on a lot of farms. I don't necessarily do the total mixed ration thing. But uh, if you want the cows to have 100% productivity, you need to... Um, mix what's called total mix ration it requires you to have silage hay and even maybe some straw if you have it um, and then you also have to give them straw bedding and you have to um, make sure that they have water so there's a lot to it so after our next crop well we're going to sell a round of crops first and then we'll buy the horses the reason why I want to wait is because we need to gather some income together to get those horses. And we still need to buy a water tanker um, and so and some kind of device uh, to, well, no, but the straw will be broken already, so we'll be good. Um, but we may need a second loading wagon. We'll see. Maybe that's something we can get through a mod, like a cheaper one. So 
So we're making hay. That's what we're doing right now. And it's going well. And I'm going to go up to the top of this field. Oh, there's already some dry hay up here. Look at that. Like, like rotted hay. That's what that brown stuff is. If you leave it for too long, it will rot. So... Very rotted hay there. But see, we could mow all the way up to the top there. It gets a little steep, so I'm just going to do this section and down. Um, but anyway, that's mowing the lawn. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mowing this, uh, and we will. I'll join you back up uh, once we get ready to use the collection wagon to collect it. Uh, and like I said, if you want to get fancy, you can always get a windrower. Um, if you have the Alpine Pack, they've got some very affordable windrowers that are small. Uh, but then you can also get bigger ones, too. So um, it's up to you. But uh, for what we're doing right now, I think we just... Eh, it might be worth it. I don't know. I don't want to spend any more money on equipment because we really, you know, it's... we're. The, I think the cheapest ones... Well, we'll look. We'll take a look. If it's feasible, then we'll do it. So I'll be back. Now, for those of you neat freaks, just a heads up, there are sections of grass that will just not mow. <laughs> I know it'll bother the crap out of you because it does me. Uh, but there are part you will notice that there's like right to my right here, there's a section that just it got smushed or the trees killed it, but it won't mow. It's not fully grown. And some of them are sticky. They, they never get better. So just be prepared. Uh, if you haven't planted it, now, if you planted the field with grass, like to our right, if we made that grass, it would be fine, and you would not run into any of those. But for the grass that's on the map that's not planted grass, you're going to have issues. The one way you can fix that usually is to plow and create fields. Remember how we created the fields in the first episode? If you run a plow over all of this and do create fields, it'll get rid of all those white pieces of grass like the, and the red pieces, and it'll also make it so that the grass is consistent and will not get to in spots like you won't get those spots where it won't mow um, so like there to the left there's that whole section there that it just wouldn't mow to the right there's some uh, it fixes all of that so um, you may want to if you're really going to use something as a grass field you may want to just plow it down create a new field there and then you know and then plant grass from them from that point forward you'll have good grass but the non-field pre-planted grass it's got some weird funky things that go on with it i had forgotten about that when i did this but still it's you know it's free you don't have to worry about it you didn't have to plant it you didn't have to pay for it and here we have free food for our upcoming horses this is probably enough to feed the horses for several weeks honestly um i don't know what we're going to do with it all actually there's more than our probably more here than will fit in that that uh loading wagon so We'll have some extra. Our crops have still not grown. I don't think they'll pop up till later today. We'll see the first growth, and then we need to fertilize. So we've already done one layer of fertilizer with our planter, but once those crops pop, we're, we'll need to get out there, and we need to fertilize again. Uh, and then we'll be done fertilizing, and all we need to do is then watch for weeds. If and when the weeds grow, which they probably will, then we need to spray with uh, herbicide, and we'll kill all those weeds. And then the crops will be ready, and they'll just keep growing and growing until they're done. So we're finished mowing. And I'm just going to run over that last little section with the tether. There we go. And we're finished tedding. Select that. Pick it up. There we go. And so we're done with these pieces of equipment for now. And unfortunately, we are getting to the point where I think... We may have to lay down another shelter because they are just, there's just so much stuff. Um, so let's do this. First of all, I want to look at animal pens. Let's see, how much is the horse paddock? 50,000, I was correct about that. Just honestly, I would just start with two horses a tie at a time. If you want to fill that thing up with, with eight horses, you can do that, but you're going to be riding horses all day long. I mean, like it's going to take you probably at least 45 minutes of real time to ride all the horses. So I like to go with two horses at a time. 
uh, because then you once you sell them, you've made a lot of money, but you only have to ride them for like 10 minutes a day. Now, there's a mod out there called Global Company that has a um, automatic horse rider. So you may want to download that mod. Once again, in the next episode, I will go over mods because I think that's an important part of the game. It really keeps the game going. Um, so, But uh, for now, I would suggest doing two horses. If you have the Global Company mod, then max it out. Put all eight horses in there. But you're going to have to keep that farm producing oats and hay. You're going to have to really up your production on that stuff because you're going to go through it like crazy. Um, but let's go ahead and put the horsey paddock down because I don't want to screw up my land for – should fit over here somewhere. Yep, there we go. Now, we can have – you can see it's $60,000 for the paddock. It, it said fifty, but why is it sixty? Well, it has to clear the land. So uh, that looks good, though, right there. Um, now, I'm going to rotate it. Let's see. How do I rotate it? I'm going to press the right stick up and down. So I'm going to rotate this around. There's zones that have um, loading areas, and I want to make sure that they're easily accessible. So I'm going to put them around like the most of them are going to be on this side. There we go. And I'm going to push this a little bit more towards this field. There we go. And we're going to, let's see, pull this forward a little bit, and we're going to plop it right there. Ta-da! It's a little high. The, the hard thing with this game is a lot of times you can't tell. And they didn't do a great job with the tools. <laughs> hate to say that about a company that I like, but... Um, so you can see here, this is raised, and that sucks because we're going to have to drive up that every time we come over to do this. This is where the water goes. That's the water trough. Here is where we dump straw into the pen. And we don't have any straw yet. We have to wait till our crops grow. And here is where we dump, I believe, hay. Is this it? Oh, no, this is where we add, like, add the horses to the, the uh, thing. But we're going to use a trailer to do them. You can, you can actually buy horses directly from here. But if you do that, um, you're then um, you're going to be stuck. Uh, like you're going to have to pay fees and stuff when you buy and sell them. So I suggest for the horses you buy an animal trailer because then you'll make the full amount of money. Um, and this is where we load the food, the hay. So I'll show you all of that. We'll go through that process. But we've built that. Now we need to get a um, another shed. I'm just going to do another $9,000 easy shed. No reason to get anything fancy. And we're going to put that. I'd like to keep it down here if possible, but I don't know if it'll fit. Let's see. It's going to be a little high. I'm afraid. Let's see. Can we lower it? Change placement height. I'm going to try to bury it a little bit. There we go. Boop. Okay. And that should keep it from being too raised. Yes. You see, even there, there was a little bit raised. I'm glad I lowered it because it would have really raised up. So now we got room for our mowers and stuff. So now we have, can we get through here? Is that there enough room? Yeah, there is. Okay. Now the last thing I'm going to do, I'm still in that. Uh, we're going to go back into this menu. I'm going to go over to landscaping and press A. And I want to, let's see, we're going to, I want to paint. I think it's the X key. Yeah, that's painting. And I'm going to pick a different ground type. We're going to do this gravelly stuff. And I'm going to just, it costs money to do this, but it's not much. And I'm just going to kind of make it so that there's pathways around here so that my horses are, it looks more natural. Like instead of having, having to drive over the grass, we're going to make this all dirt. So it cost us about $2,000, it looks like, to do this roughly. $2,000 to do this. And that's the last place that we have to access. So now we have a nice dirt path around our pen. It looks a little bit more natural. There we go. And we can put our mowers away. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and grab the... Uh, I am going to grab a windrower. I decided while I was mowing that I think it's probably best for you guys to be able to see that in action. It's going to cost me some money, but I, I feel like we should do some windrowing um, so that you can actually see it happen and what it does. Put, pick the front tool, drop that off. And then I'm going to put the windrower or the... Uh, tether back here I have no idea why that fertilizer is sitting in front of the house oh that's lime okay all right so I'm gonna run to the shop I'll be right back see you in a second all right we've arrived at Carlos reliable motors and we're gonna take a look at 
wind rowers, that's down here. Might be different in your menu. Sometimes they move around, depending on what mods you've added. Now, we have the very simple $10,000. This is probably what I'm going to go with, 50 horsepower Pottinger. This one's a little bit of a pain because you have to run back and forth and back and forth. You wind row on the left side, then you wind row on the right side, and it makes a nice pile. You have these fancier uh, wind rowers that obviously they they – pull it to the middle and so you only have to do one pass each way like you run, you run down one way you run back up and then you have this american style one that's kind of in the middle price wise and it uses pinwheels to windrow um low horsepower rating though because it just rolls the pinwheels so i think we'll actually grab this one because it's the price is okay the downside is we have to make two trips but it is what it is so let's go and grab that Thank you. So now we have everything that we need to feed the horses and keep them fed. <laughs> so let's go back home. And then we'll come back, and then we'll go back home, and then we'll come back, and blah, blah, blah. All right, so I'll see you in just a minute. And so we begin. Uh, I'm going to unfold this. See it unfolding there? And we're going to get up on the grass field where we started mowing. I'm just going to back this up a little bit. And we just kind of we lower it, and it'll start making a trail once we get up into the grass. There we go. See, what is this doing? Well, we look behind us, and we've made a nice pile of grass that's easy to collect with the collection wagon. So it is a definite... You know, to be honest with you, I always get wind rowers because it makes life so much easier when you're collecting materials. But um, they are expensive, you know, like twenty, thirty thousand bucks. But then again, everything in this game is expensive, so you kind of got to figure out what's wor what's worth it to you and what's not. Um, honestly, I prefer the pinwheel style, the big ones with the double, like the double wheel one, uh, the one that was like $38,000, the next one up, this is the one that I prefer. But I want, we need to save some money on this farm because we're just starting. So eventually you can trade up to that. Um, but those are easier to handle because they're not as big. Like they don't, they're not as cumbersome, I should say. Um, so. So there you have it. Now you can even curve with it. We're going to do that because this is kind of a weird section here. There we go. And so we've made that. <laughs> now I'm going to do the rest of it like this. You can see here, this is why this one's a little awkward because of the size and shape. It's just not easy to maneuver. But it works. And like I said, if you want a more American style one, this is what most, at least in Ohio, this is what farmers are using. For the most part. Not all of them, but a lot of them. It's hard to make generalizations about farming because every farm is different. Every farm has different things that they produce. And while a lot of them do the same things, a lot of them do them different ways. Same thing with this game. There's, Like I said, there's a million different ways to do stuff. It kind of depends on what you like to do, so... All right, so I'm going to get this done. Uh, I'm going to finish wind rowing these fields, or this field, and then we'll get the collection wagon, and I'll show you how that works. And once we have this, a full collection wagon, we are ready to buy some horses uh, if we can afford them. So I'll be right back. All right, so we're finishing up the rowing. I'm kind of just running over this line again to kind of condense some of it. And there we go. So we have a nice, you can see behind me, there's a nice wind road field. I'm going to go ahead and put this away and grab the collection wagon, and then we are going to have some nice hay for our horses to eat. Horses eat hay and oats primarily, and that is really what they eat. I have, well, I own, but my wife has because they're her horses, but I bought them for her. Um, she has uh, four horses. She had five, but she sold one of them. But she has four horses, and that's what they eat pretty much. Hay is expensive, actually. It's more expensive than... Um, than the oats 
but she has it included in their monthly. So, uh, like the place that the place that they stay at provides the hay, so we don't have to worry about that. They actually will provide the oats too, but my wife doesn't like the oats that they use. She wants like performance oats for her for her babies. Uh, her horses are. Um, we have Kisses, who she just sold, and then we have Cuddles and Alyssa, and they're both uh, year, yearlings, I guess. Or they're not even yearlings; they're they're under a year old, so they're still foals. But they will be a year old uh, this coming year, so they will be yearlings. And then she also has a two-year-old horse named Lady. And then finally, she has a full-grown horse named Serenity. Uh, Serenity's the riding horse. Um, the barn uses her to do lessons and stuff. Um, and so we get a discount on her because she's used for lessons. And uh, they're all Ar Arabians, and they're beautiful. Uh, I will make a video at some point for you guys to see of her horses, maybe one for each horse. And she can talk about them and tell you about each horse. And they're, they're really cute horses. Uh, and they're really, it's funny how friendly they are. Like they, at first they were really standoffish when we first got them, but now they're like, dude, like I go in there and I can get, Lady, she's, you know, once again, she's two years old. And I walk up to her and she sees me coming in and she's like, Mee! and I'm like, hey lady. And I come in and she, she'll, she nuzzles me and I kick, give her kisses on the nose and stuff. Like she's really sweet. So, I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying owning horses, and uh, my wife does want to use them. She'll, she's going to, you know, show them, and then she'd like to be able to, uh, you know, foal them. And so they'll have foals, and and, um, and she will sell the foals and, and make some income from that. And so, yeah, it's, it's fun. So we're, we're kind of doing farming. We also have chickens. I need to do some videos on that. So probably in the next week or so you'll see some chicken videos coming out too because we have little peeps. Uh, that were just born, and we've got some that are hatching, and I've got some footage of chickens hatching. So um, we've got a nice variety of chickens, and, and uh, we have uh, Saramas and I am Samanis, and um, uh, what's the what are the feathery ones? The Silkies, uh, and then we also have some Mandarin ducks, and those are those are beautiful. They're little, they're juveniles, so they're starting to grow, and uh, so we have those. So we've got a bunch of different animals. So anyway, I am going to be back into the farm in a second. I've talked my way there. We'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so we've arrived with our collection wagon. I'm going to turn it on and lower it. And it does just what it says. It collects. Now the problem is, without building a storage warehouse, these are just going to sit in the collection wagon. Now, for those of you that know anything about actual farming, you, would, you wouldn't want to do that for long. It'll turn into silage over time, especially if it gets wet. Now, if it's dry, it should stay hay as long as you park the collection wagon somewhere where it's dry. But I think for in general, they try to empty these out and they store the hay in a loft or a facility where, they, where it can be you know, safely stored um, in a stack. The reason why farmers bale, it's more expensive, but the reason why they bale is because it is much easier to store the bales and to feed with the bales. And I didn't, I never knew this, but I do now because I've been around horses. With the with the hay bales, they actually, the, the baler actually kind of packs it into wafers. So when you have a square bale, you can then divide that bale up into like about a four inch thick wafer of hay. And it's really easy to break those off. So what they do is, like at the barn, they, they break off. Each horse gets two wafers a day. So they break off this wafer of hay, and they, they, they get two of them and hand them to each horse. And so that's um, it's kind of a neat thing. And I didn't, you know, if you look at a, a square bale, a lot of times, not, and I'm not talking straw, I'm talking hay, uh, it'll, you'll see it like all, um, like almost serrated looking. And that, those are the wafers that you break them up into. So it's kind of a cool thing. Hay wafers. It has like a folding process. So you can see here, we got 21,000 liters of hay. The horses will not take all of that unless we get more than two horses. But once again, I'm warning you, you may not want to have more than two horses if you don't have global company because you are going to have to ride them every day. Okay, so we have 23 liters. That should be plenty for seven days. 
Uh, the rest of it, I don't know. Once we feed it in, we can fill it up again. But then how are we going to get straw? So we have, this is the dilemma. You could dump this off in the wood somewhere or under the, the – um, in here and then use a, a fork to pull like a hay fork to pull it out uh, they do make them for the tractors you can use hay forks uh, and then just hand feed it over here but that's kind of a pain um, so we're going to park right here with this for now and uh, it's time to go grab some horses so that we'll get the last two pieces of equipment that we need for the horses and I will show you what that is so let's go ahead and I'm going to drive over there and I'll see you in just a minute I have returned alright so we need to go to this thing and we are going to go to the animals uh we need to get a water so the aqua trans is the only one i think in the game but you there are lots and lots of mod ones that you get oh no these two larger ones too but it's not you don't need that much this is fine especially because we have water right on the farm so there's our aqua trans and then we also need a transport for these horses you can do any of these right this one does not carry horses nope None of them do. Oh, okay. I thought they did, but they don't. So you have to get a horse trailer. Uh, and that is two at a time. And since we're a case farm, we're going to go with case red. There we go. Whoops, wrong button. Case red. Yep. 16000 So we have $25,000 left for the horsies. And i got to drive these stupid trailers back to the farm. <laughs> So I'm going to do that. I'll be back. I'll get this thing to the water first, and then we'll come back. And what we'll do is we'll take that horsey trailer right to the the market and buy our horses. Because they're I think they're 5000 a piece, but they might be. Maybe they're 2500 a piece. I don't know. They're, they might be less. Um, so, but, uh, yeah. So I'll be back. Okay, so we are back. Grabbing my Case Red trailer. And let's go pick up some horses. Now, the animal dealer, you can see it from here. It's right up here. It's kind of halfway between the farm and the shop. But you have to go up this hill. The farm is off to our right. You can see the cozy wool factory where they make sweaters. Uh, but here's the animal dealer here at the top of the hill. There's the church, and our farm is way back down there. But we have the Patterson Stockyards, named after my friend Tim. And we pull them back here. Is this it? There's a trigger here somewhere. It's probably marked. No, there we go. So where the that thing is, that thing this guy there was marked and there's where the horses come out so we're going to buy some not pigs not cows but horses let's get um what do we got we'll do a dun horse i mean a black horse five thousand yep and we're going to do let's see what else do we have Ooh, that's pretty palominos are pretty pinto we'll do a pinto and we're going to confirm that so about $10,000, we have $15,000 left. We're slowly running out of money. But that's okay, because once the crops grow, we'll have some money coming in. So I'm going to guesstimate about $20,000 on crops. And then we'll keep cycling that, and we'll be making money. So no big deal. So what I would do is I would, because we have some extra material, I'm thinking we feed the horses, I want to go this way, a uh, week's worth of, of hay and then we sell the rest of it if it's feasible as long as we don't have to drive too far um, I think unfortunately the hay sell place is at the top of the hill it's a little far but we probably only have one loads worth so we only have to make the trip once it'll be worth three thousand probably two or three thousand dollars worth of hay and that'll give us a little extra money we could do that each time and you know kind of make money back on that hay because I was trying to think of ways to kind of solve that problem, and I think that's the best way to do it. So, And ta-da, there's our farm. So it's really not far from the animal dealers at all to the farm. Um, 
So let's go ahead and put our horses in the paddock and then we'll feed them. And we'll call that an episode. So you drive them over here and you press down on the left control button for the dialogue. <laughs> we have Prickles and Zeus. <laughs> We're going to move Prickles and Zeus into the paddock. We're going to confirm. And there they are. The horses have come home. I'm just going to leave the trailer there. And uh, we do have to ride the horses, so I'll kind of go through that a little bit. It's also in the horse tutorial, but I will show you how to do that because I know. It's kind of, but Arthur, how do we do this? So first we're going to feed them our the hay that they so greatly deserve. Probably won't take too much of this, but it'll, I'm going to guess about 8,000. It's about half of it, a little bit less than half. Yeah, oh, less, even less than that. So, eh. Let's take a look at our menu. Animal menu. They are, yeah, eight. 800%. And let's go give them some oats. So we're going to park this here and we can sell all that later. The next thing we're going to get is some oats. I'm going to grab this open tray. Mm. Yeah. And we're going to fill that up with oaty. So it was wise for us to save the oats. And that goes in the same place. You'll see a trigger saying press Y to dump. There we go, right button Y. So I think they're probably going to eat all of these. We'll probably have to bring them some more. Yep, so we're going to make one more run. If we would have used the bigger tipper, then it would have been an issue, but I didn't. So there you go. There you have it. I didn't get over it. Once we fill them up, though, they will have set seven days worth or six days worth. It might be six days. That's the last of it. I think we'll have 2,000 left over. I've done this before, so I'm pretty sure that's where the numbers are going to be, but we'll see. Come on, trigger. It's not triggering. Well, it might be full. Let's take a look. It's full. 8,000, 8,000. So there we go. So we got 4,000 oats. We have three days left. But that's why I wouldn't dump. They're full. Now we need to get them some water. Don't forget to water your horses. Um, this returning that where it belongs come back here and we're going to grab this we should be close enough to the well to actually fill it up yes we are so we press the left button on the joystick and this is going to fill the water up water does not cost anything it's free so you can fill it as many times as you need to and it's so exciting and what I do is usually I'll empty this and I just leave it parked over there just like I did the other thing. The other trailer. Now 
There we go, 7,300 liters of water. And we're going to go ahead and dump that in here. It'll take about half, maybe, or less. Now, there we go. So we just, that's all they took. Actually, we'll turn this off for a sec. And now we're going to show you how to ride the horses. Once again, I have a tutorial on all this, but we'll do a quick thing here. So we get close to the horses. We can ride Pickles by pressing X. And you'll notice that Prickles has a, um, they are 5% fitness, okay? Every day that you ride the horse, they're going to go up a little bit, and you'll see the value go up. Also, if they're not fed and they're not clean, that's going to go down. So as we ride them, that's going to go down. Um, on the left there, you can see where it says Prickles' name. It says daily riding 0%. We need to fill that up. It takes about four or five minutes. doesn't matter what speed you run them. It will not make it go faster. <laughs> You have to ride them for a certain amount of time, period. doesn't matter how fast they go. It's all the same. Left trigger slows them down. Right trigger speeds them up. You just set the speed that you want, and then they just go. So right now my hands are off the joystick. Uh, and then I put it back on, and I can direct them. The triggers are what make them go and stop, just like a vehicle. It's a little weird to me, but okay, whatever. At the time, I whoa. I forget what game I was playing, but I was playing another game where you press the A button to make them run. So I, was, I always had a hard time coming back to this game to ride them. Now you can see here, if we go in the menu, we've ridden 16% of their daily ride. So it takes time. You'll also notice their value probably is going down because they're getting dirty as we're riding. Yeah, 2927, 2925. But that's really easy to fix, and I'll show you how to fix that when we get back. Um... But each day that you do this, as long as you kept them fed and you ride them, their value is going to go up. And I believe at the end of the time period, they will be worth about $50,000. It's a 10-day process. So you'll make $100,000 every 10 days. I mean, if you do eight horses, you'll be making $400,000 every 10 days. So you can make some serious money. But you also have to keep them fed, so you got to make sure you've got a big enough farm to feed the horses, you should be able to do it with this starter farm. And that should be good enough to make a ton of money. Um, I don't know why I don't do this on my other maps, because, geez, I can make some money. <laughs> Duh. All right, I'm going to ride them. I'll be back. So I was doing some thinking about it. I'd say with the amount of grass that we pulled from that field and with the oat field size, we could probably do at least four horses as long as you weren't planning on selling a lot of crop. Um, but once again, four horses would bring you $200,000 every 10 days. That's a pretty good income. So, you know, that's some, that's one way you could do this. If you did all your field's oats, I mean, you probably could. Or I know if you if you did this field, if you planted grass on that field and then oats on this field, you could you could definitely do all eight horses. You just wouldn't have any money from crops but you could be a horsey farm and then you start making big money and then you could move into crop farming so um yeah you just have to be patient because it's a 10 days in this game we've only played two days so far or one day like this has been one full like 24 hour period so it's that's a lot of play time but if you're playing the game a lot that can go quickly and it depends on what speed you run the game i've been running it at 1x now if you run the game at 5x your days are going to go by a lot faster so you know, you can choose the speed that you want to run it, and, you know, it just makes it you have to work harder because you're constantly doing stuff. But a lot of people run the game at 5X. So you should see the horse now is at 100%. There you can see Prickles daily riding is 100%. We have to ride the other horse now. Now, Prickles has 40% dirtiness. <laughs> I don't know why they show, like, stars, but it's supposed to mean that they, like, they have, like, dirt on them. And you can see Prickles has dirt on his butt, her butt, whatever, and her belly and the front. She's all dirty, dirty horse. So if we get near to Prickles and we press the B button, you brush Prickles. Horses do get very dirty, actually. This is a real thing. Now, now we go in the menu and look at Prickles, and she's 100%, and she's back up to full value. So we're good. So now we have to ride Zeus. I'm going to go do that, and I will be right back. Uh, I'm an idiot. I went to the biomass plant here right next to our farm. I'm eating a snack, sorry. And um, 
You can sell the wood here, too. I forgot about that. They've got a wood sell point right here. And I believe you can sell silage bales here. So, um, I don't know about hay. I could try that with the hay wagon. We'll see. It would be much easier than running it up to the farm. But I forgot the biomass plant does buy materials. So, um, it's funny how it's not in the list of things, though. But this is the biomass plant. And once again, they, they buy wood. I would imagine they buy wood chips, but I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure they do. And I think they also buy, like, hay. I know for a fact they buy silage. So if you want to sell silage, you can sell it there. So there you go. Sorry about that. So Zeus is done. We're going to clean him up. Nope, don't ride him. Clean him. There we go. He's all clean. We check our animals, and they're both back to good status. Good. They'll be worth more tomorrow. A little bit more each day. Let's go ahead and see. Now... I don't know. Like I said, I want to keep, I want to sell that hay, but we'll have more hay. By the time we sell the other crops and we're ready to buy more horses and stuff, we will have more grass available. So, um, so yeah, if you wanted to move over to a horse farm to start with, that's a good starting strategy. Uh, I know one of my viewers was talking about that, and they are right. Uh, because, like I said, if you can wait 10 days, at the end of the 10 days, it's $400,000. That's a lot of funding to buy more equipment. So so we, we haven't gone into debt yet, and we could be even more profitable if we did that. So, But you have to be patient. It's a long, it's a long-term game because um, you need to be able to feed them that much. So Now, you could always buy horse feed and and hay from the shop but that's going to cost you money so it's probably better just to do it yourself grow it yourself um but they do sell it if you need if you're in an emergency and you don't have food you can buy it from the shop you just it's like eight thousand dollars for four bales so just be aware it's expensive all right i'm going to collect the rest of this grass and we're going to try to or the hay and we're going to try to sell it at the biomass plant and see what happens i'll be back okay i was correct this is way closer than going up to the stables uh, the big stables, and this is the biogas plant. Once again, if you look on the map, we are here. And the biogas plant is literally just down the road right here. In fact, we have a road from our house that goes right to it. So you can just come out of the farm and go right to the road. Now, that's the road we covered over <laughs> with our fields. Be careful. But uh, you can come right here from there or just go to the main road and come back. It's probably easier to go this way, though, and maybe go around. Um so let's see how much we make from a trailer full. we got a little bit more of a trailer full right now. Like I said, if we added more horses, we wouldn't be doing that. Maybe we'll head that direction and see what happens. $2,500. That's not bad. So you can always sell what you don't use. And that, you know, keeps the cycle going. Um, and you'll have more. But, I, like I said, if you're going to do a horsey farm, I would suggest using the big field that we made as oats and then the field that we just mowed on plus the field as grass. That way you have plenty of hay, you have plenty of oats. Um, the oats will yield straw, so you'll have straw. And then you already have water on the farm. So, th actually, this is really is, this is set up for horsey farming. Now, word of warning. If you do what I did here with the road, do not drive over the crops with your tra tractor unless you have crop destruction off. Because you will crush the crops under the wheels of your tractor, and that would not be a great thing. So, um, But, yeah, so I would do this field as oats and that field over there as grass, you know, if you're going to do a full-on horse farm. But that it could be very, very profitable, so... You just have to be patient because it's a lot of days of waiting. You get $400,000 and have to wait another 10 days and then make another $400,000 and then wait another 10 days. and then. But uh, every 10 days, if you could make $400,000 every 10 days in real life, man, wouldn't that be great? You'd be rich. All right, guys, so I am going to call it an episode. This one's a little bit longer than normal, but uh, we got a lot done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely had fun making it. Uh, I will see you next time on the farm as we continue on. And in the next episode, we're going to take a look at the mods 
adding mods, what mods I really like. I have a couple mods, not a ton, but I've got a few mods that I really strongly recommend um, adding to the game because they add a lot to make things easier and life a little bit better. Um, and so we'll take a look at what I recommend for good mods. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. Have a great day. Bye.